Hello Scrappy Tribe! This is Lisa Graham from Creative Life Scrapbooking and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the layout I created for the September 13th, 2024 edition of Creative Life Scrapbooking's Featured Project Friday. Uh, now this layout as you can see features Creative Memories dual tone white core cardstock and I thought I'd share some tips and techniques for working with white core cardstock in general, and also specifically um, this uh, dual colored limited edition paper. Now, don't worry if you don't have this dual tone white core cardstock. As I'm filming this, it is still available on your Creative Memories Advisors website. But if you're watching this after it has already sold out, then don't worry, I'll share some links uh, to, to comparable products in the description of this video and that'll take uh, you to our CLS Amazon shop where you can find some of those products. Okay, now first, before I get to the details of uh, the layout, let me, well, let me show you a little bit first. Fun thing about white core cardstock is you can take advantage of that white core, meaning the center of the paper is white. It's not dyed through and through like CM's regular cardstock. And you can do some fun things with that to make that white come out, okay? So I'll show you how I did that in just a second. Um, it's just really a, a fun, fun paper. And this is called dual tone because it's got blue on this side and a lovely green on that side. So that's kind of the basics of a white core. Let me let me give, go a little, little bit further and I'll show you. This is Creative Memories Beloved uh, cardstock, right? It's solid core, meaning it is what color you see here, it's solid through and through. So if you rip it, it's still that same color. It looks a little lighter, but that's just how the light's hitting it. But it is, it's solid all the way through. So you can scratch and you can sand and it will stay that color, right? That's why when you use your adhesives, you're um, repositionable, you rub it off, you don't have to worry about it because even if it did rub some of that surface of the paper off, it's still that color inside. Okay, that is not the same with the dual tone white core paper. So there's your dual tone part of that. And the white core comes, see how it's not dyed all the way through. So that brings me to my first technique. And that is when you rip the paper, there's two ways that you can have the edge look. If you rip it towards you, you see it reveals that white edge, which is really very pretty. But if you rip it away from you, you'll see like that, you don't see the white, okay? If you rip it towards you, you see the white. If you rip it away, you don't, okay? So that's the fun of working with white core card stack, one thing. And another thing is, do you remember this um, punch here? What is it called, the embossed blossoms? So all you do is take a sanding block. This is one that I'll link to in um, the video description. It's from Sizzix. You can see I've been working on green. Um, but if you just sand ever so lightly on the embossed part, it, it just accentuates that, right? It's going to sand off that color and leave you with the white showing. So it just details it even more. So I like that, I really like that effect. When you're using your sanding block, and I'll show you how to do that, be careful what's underneath your paper. <laughs> so I had this sitting on my 12 by 12 mat and there were some little pieces of repositionable adhesive on there. Can you see it? I didn't mind it because this is my photo mat. So if you don't want that to happen, make sure that there's nothing underneath your mat. So, okay, let me show you how sanding shouldn't be easier. The heavier, I will tell you, this um, paper from Creative Memories, the dual tone white core cardstock um, is very dusty. So this dust will cling to your um, sanding paper. And if you, when you're sanding, you'll see, it'll pick up that color. So just know that um, I, like to just, if you need to, I get it off with my pickup square, and then of course it transfers to that, but you just cut that gook off when you're done, or you can put it up against like a clear part probably. 
Okay, so that's all you do. And then to sand, same thing. You just, I just rub ever so lightly. And you'll see the detail, the difference you get. This is almost down to the white. This is just lightly. And can you see that dust right there? Be careful because it does get on things. <laughs> so don't do it next to like a, the base of your layout if it's white or something. Just, just be aware of that, okay? So it's just another fun thing that you can do to add some detail. You can um, sand the edges of your layout, edges of your photo mats. Super, super easy, okay? It's just really fun. So let me just tell you too, there's some other, so not only do we have white core cardstock, we have the solid core cardstock. Sometimes there's white core solid cardstock. <laughs> so this is just something I had my stash, it's of cardstock that I use for my card making ministry. But you will see, it looks like it's solid core, but it is not. And if you look up close, you can see on here, it's white. So not all cardstock is, is made equally. Sometimes they'll call this printed cardstock. You just have to watch if you're going to buy, you know, another brand or something else, just know what you're buying. There's another type of cardstock. Um, and the, I think the most known brand is uh, Coordinations. I think this is that. But now you'll see this is not only is it dual tone. And it's also textured. <laughs> so, so this is the same thing. What's really fun with this. Now, I believe this is. Well, let me rip it and show you. Some of them have like a darker blue exterior and then on the inside on purpose, they put a lighter blue. So I think, oh, this just is the green color. So this is this would be, what is it? Solid core, but with a printed side. Just play with it. If you have something you're not sure, take a piece of scrap paper and see what it does. Because this is solid throughout, you're going to get that green color that lifts not the white because there's no white and if you did it on this side you wouldn't really get anything because it's it's green all the way through so okay i hope that um shed some light on the different types of cardstock that's out there right now cm currently of course has our beloved uh, i don't ever see them getting rid of the beloved cardstock the solid core cardstock that's the workhouse workhorse for most of us um tried and true um, but you know what? It's really fun to have different um, products in your crafty toolbox, right? <laughs> so so that's what I, I, I really hope you play with what we have. If you like this, grab it now because we've been told it's a limited edition. If you really like it, um, and email CM and send in a product suggestion that they add it to the line along with whatever ever else it is you're, you're thinking about. Share your thoughts with them. They're very responsive. So, okay, I hope you will head over to our website uh, at www.creativelifescrapbooking.com. Uh, that's where you can pick up a printable handout with detailed instructions and lots of photos that'll show you how I created this layout. It's got all the measurements and it will include how I used your, the border maker system uh, to emboss on my layout. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that and i want to thank you for watching and um i'd also ask you to please subscribe to our channel our youtube channel and if you've already done that thank you so much for your support we really appreciate it so thanks have a great day